big hair. It's old. Mm -hmm. But Caucasian, I met so many Caucasian people come up to me and say, in, in this industry, that, hey man, I had colon cancer, man. You would beat that. That ain't nothing. Mm. That's how they talk. You feel? Me? That's wow. how they talk. That's why I got, I got a line where I say, uh, I feel like Floyd the way I beat up cancer. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. So, the next time there was a comedian, and I went to the uh, open mic, and I walked by, he was like, boy, boy, damn, why you looking good, boy? I said, okay, appreciate you. I went back even later on. He said, man, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you looking good. I said, nigga, you tell me that one more time. Mm -hmm. I was like, but you know, it was just that they thought in their mind a person that's, you know, going through it. Going through the has cancer and something like that, you supposed to look, man. But it's all mental. Mm -hmm. You feel me with that? You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you just thinking like, oh, I ain't gonna make it, I ain't gonna you gonna get what you ask for. And men, I feel like men have it worse than women because I've heard of so many many men who um, get bad news, especially with cancer and stuff like that, and you hear the next day they're dead. Because yeah. they feel like it's a death sentence once you get certain things, like there's no overcoming it. it but you know what that be? Men go to the hospital a lot less than women. Right. So by the time, you know, a man will put up with that pain for two, three years. Mm -hmm. Nah, you done put up that pain so long. Nah, like, instead of two or three of your problems being affected, there's 10 of them. Mm. So now you taught stage four and there's pretty much nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Because, me, and when you think of men, I, you know, in our, you know, like, growing up in our community, they used to think, you know what I'm saying, when you get cancer, it's over. Mm -hmm. But Caucasian, I met so many Caucasian people come up to me and say, in, in this industry, that, hey man, I had colon cancer, man, you would beat that, that ain't nothing. Mm. That's how they talk, you feel me? That's wow. how they talk. That's why I got, I got a line where I say, uh, I feel like Floyd the way I beat up cancer. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, once the doctor automatically told me. It's mental. Yeah, I mean, he, when he say, man, you have colon cancer, I was like, okay, I know one thing, that's not brain cancer. That's not uh, prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer. Those are the worst. Those are little. Those are harder. Mm -hmm. You feel me saying like, hard. like he told me the tumor there went right in there, cleaned it all out. Nah, nah, nah. I couldn't walk, but it was out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you have risks of certain things come back. So that's when you start learning about ways to prevent it. Right. It's like like dark, so dark, dark. It's not just that all the time. Dark sodas, your environment, stress. Your environment. Your like environment. It? Your really? environment. Yeah. If you live in a, if you live in a, uh, like an industrial field, mm -hmm. certain kind of place. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah. And of course, the foods. But there are so many other things that 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 play roles in it. As far as things you put on your body, like <laughs> products and different shit like that. All of that get to be attached to it. But the colon mostly deals with the intestines. See, that's what I. Hate. That's when you talk why. about when you talk about the products, you know how a new product come out, a lotion or whatever, and we love it, it smells good, whatever. Then years later on, it say, well, if you use this, right. you can now sue now, this, I, this. I this. don't even believe some of them commercials, but we know one thing: I did. colon deals with the intestine. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So of course, over a long period of time, you gotta think. When we was kids, we ate at home. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't get the man. My mama ain't take it. Mama, when did we get to eat? <laughs> she, boy, it better be a guy. It better be a real. I better be about to graduate. Special I mean, My MVP football, basketball, so You ain't finna just run no restaurant every day. Mm. See, these kids and, 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 and people go to fast food every day, every day. So, the process, the, that fake meat and processed foods mm -hmm. going through that colon. It's tearing it up in a way of 
you know, is infected it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's one of the main things. But like dark sodas and those processed foods are one of the main things they told me in my environment. Stress in your environment, all that play a key role. So what you say to some of these black um, men who are watching this show right now, um, would you advise them to like start going to do their checkups once a year? Man, man, of course. It's almost like it's almost like a no brainer now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, like they used to tell you to go at 50. Now they want you to go at 45. So me, I would suggest you to go at 40. Here's the thing. I'm going to make you laugh first before I get to it. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the hospital. Now this is when they found the, the little tumor. Mm-hmm. And they say, Mr. Hill, you need to come back for another colonoscopy. I'm like, man, I just had one. So like, I mean, so when I come back, I got a nurse. You know, she about 30, you know, she about 40. Little, little, little Caucasian lady, little nice little lady. She like, oh, I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't do it. So they had to take an interval with her. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? She say, you want to go to the bathroom and do it yourself? I said, I'll try. So I get to the restroom, I'm like, man, I can't stick nothing to my I tried, I just can't do it. I'm just, you know, I'm just too gangster. You know what I'm saying? That's how I would, but I'm gonna try. You think about saving your life, but I ain't give a damn. I couldn't do it. So when I get back to the, uh, back to, to my room, big old tall that white boy come walking right there. I said, well, yeah, yeah. And we finna find somebody. To say, hey, lady, you finna get this. You finna, you finna get this. You finna get this done right now. Cause I would have felt raped. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know that's just how it is. So. As men, that's the mentality, especially in our neighborhood. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, we already, my mama already called. We already laughed at Baby Sam. Like, Baby Sam won't even eat, eat a hot dog. You know what I'm saying? He cracked jokes like that. His uncle, they was like, but we have to go get chick. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, that's one of the main things. Now, you can't chick for everything. Right. But that, holy so can it's right. one of those. Especially if it runs in the family. See, you that's not to. true. Really? It's not in your family? Uh, no. All that old hood, I mean, it is, but, but I mean, somebody in my family had cancer, I don't know who. Hmm. But that thinking you uh, are good if nobody. No, 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 no. Thinking you gonna, like, you got it because your uncle or somebody else had it. Mm-hmm. They said, that's just, that's just a fear. You mm-hmm. can get it with nobody else in your family had it. Oh, wow. And a lot of time when they say about it, you, you look at a family, if the whole, whole family is obese, and you think she big because her mama was big. Then they, no, she big because her mama letting her eat the same thing that she was eating. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that a hereditary, ain't nothing hereditary. Your skin color and all that, but for ass, you know, that's just like me saying, I'm gonna have uh, my next set of twins gonna have one lead. Hmm. Nah. But genes has a lot to do with it too. When I say that, because they do. In what a certain I mean, way. personalities. Because I've seen where like kids don't know. Say you lost your your dad as a, as a young age, whatever, and you just like him. Your mama said, "Man, you act you you do the same thing, but you never been around him." That's true. But you not gonna be fat because he was. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's what yeah. I mean. That part is definitely true. You don't get your <laughs> hair out here. Like I don't know. I wish. I, you know. <laughs> I'm saying I, my shit used to be curly. I need to borrow some of yours. It's yeah. curly now. Like, yeah, not- that's because I said that. that, that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, like I didn't know how much I was like my dad. Right. Because I went around my dad when I was young. Mm-hmm. Then when I got older, I realized, yeah, I ain't know how much I went away with my mama. Mm-hmm. I'm just like my mama. You know what I'm saying? So, and you hear the people's voices. People don't even think about that. Think about that next time when you see uh, uh, some brothers. Listen to their voice. Mm-hmm. They talk. They talk a lot. Don't even know it. Right. So. You- yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.